Hello guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. It's a very early video that I'm recording, so please forgive me if I sound very tired. This video is going to be the first transfer update video. I'm just going to go through some of the latest deals that have already happened this summer or that have gone through before the summer transfer window as opened that are due to go through on July the 1st. So let's get straight into it. Arsenal have brought in one player who they signed in January actually, but he will come in this summer, and that's a keeper from New England Revolution in the MLS. His name is Matt Turner, and they've signed him for £5.7 million. As far as I know, he's a US international. He's played plenty of games for the US national team and very experienced as well. He is in his mid-twenties, so he is coming in to replace Bert Leno, probably. Um, even though Bert Leno has come out and said that he doesn't want to leave Arsenal, but I think this replacement of Matt Turner was signed to replace Bert Leno, so I think he will come in as number two to Aaron Ramsdale. So we'll see how he gets on at Arsenal. I've never heard of him before, but as I said, he's a US international player. And we'll see how he gets on. And they've not really spent a lot of money on him either. So it's worth the gamble. Arsenal have sold two players as well. They've sold Matteo Guendouzi for £9 million to Marseille. Guendouzi was on loan at Marseille for this last season. And Marseille have taken up the option to make that deal permanent. They've also sold Konstantinos Mavropanos for £2.7 million to Stuttgart. And as I said, Mavropanos has been out on loan this last season to Stuttgart. And they took that option up as well to make that deal permanent. Aston Villa then... They've made three signings already this window. They've brought in Philippe Coutinho for £18 million from Barcelona. As well with Coutinho, he signed on loan from Barcelona in January. And then Villa agreed a deal with Barcelona for Coutinho. Yes, Barcelona have made a nearly a hundred million pound loss on Coutinho, but it gets them off their wage bill and definitely strengthens Aston Villa. Eighteen million pound—that's a cheap bargain, if in my opinion, if it turns out well. They've also signed Boubacar Kamara on a free transfer from Marseille. Another fantastic piece of business from Aston Villa here. Kamara was linked with Manchester United in January. Ralph Ranić wanted him. A number of top European clubs wanted him because he was a free transfer. He's left Marseille and Villa have snapped him up. So it's a cracking piece of business to strengthen their midfield as well. And Diego Carlos for £27.9 million from Sevilla. This is a statement signing. Champions League proven Brazilian international Diego Carlos. Um... 27.9 million it's a lot of money to spend on a centre back especially from Aston Villa Newcastle wanted him in January he wanted to go to Newcastle but they couldn't agree a fee and um, Aston Villa swoop in before everyone else does agrees a fee and signs them so Villa have made three fantastic state statement signings here in Coutinho, Camara and Carlos and I'm sure they'll continue to strengthen as well and Watch out for Villa next year if everything clicks. Villa haven't sold anyone as to speak at the moment. Bournemouth, they haven't signed anyone at this present time. But the only departure from Bournemouth is Gary Cahill and he has been released after one season at the club. Brentford haven't signed anyone so to speak so far. But they have let one player go on a free transfer. And that's Julian Giambia. Brighton as well have made no signings so far. And no sales so far. Chelsea have made no signings so far. But they have let four players go on free transfers. Charlie Masonda, 
Antonio Rudiger, who is signing for Real Madrid, Andres Christiansen, who could be going to Barcelona, and Danny Drinkwater has been released as well. Crystal Palace, no signing so far and no sales so far for them. So it's a quiet start to the window for a lot of teams. Everton, no signings for them and no sales so far as well. Fulham, no signings so far, but they've let a lot of players go. They've sold Fabio Cavallio to Liverpool for 5.3 million. Good piece of business from Liverpool this. Um, cracking signing. One for the future. Bargain as well. They've also let Andrea Zambo in Guisa go for 13.5 million to Napoli. So they're cashing in on some players that are not, aren't in their plans. Cyrus Christie leaves on a free transfer. Fabri leaves on a free transfer. Michael Hector leaves on a free transfer. Alfie Mawson leaves on a free transfer. And Jean Michel Seri leaves on a free transfer. So Fulham have done a lot of business early on on getting a lot of people off their wage bill. And I think they will spend wisely this time to try and keep themselves in the Premier League. So we'll see how Fulham gets on, but they have made some money and also... Made some money from transfer fees and also off the wage bill. Leeds made no. Well, Leeds have made one summer signing so far. They've signed Brendan Aronson for twenty nine point two five million pound from Salzburg. It's a lot of player, lot of money for a player that has Champions League experience. That is a USA international as well. That knows how to play under Jesse March. Jesse March knows him from his days with the Red Bull clubs. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how he gets on at Leeds. And I'm sure this isn't the only piece of business that Leeds are going to do in this summer transfer window. Leeds, no summer sales so far. Leicester, no sales or signings so far at this window. Liverpool, as we've said, they've signed Fabio Cavallio for 5.3 million from Fulham. And they've let two players leave the club. Marco Grujic for 8.1 million from Port to Porto. And Divock Origi leaves on a free transfer on his way to AC Milan. Manchester City have made their first signing of the summer. And it's a statement signing. It's probably the signing of the window so far. And probably the signing of the window probably. It's Erling Haaland. For 51.3 million from Borussia Dortmund. Haaland is comfortably a 150 million pound player, probably, in the modern day, and they've signed him for 51 million pound because of his release clause. So it's an absolute steal. He'll get he'll be at least a 20 goal man for City with the chances they create with De Bruyne at the in midfield as well, putting them crosses in. And the creativity from Sterling, Jesus, Silva as well, Foden. So Haaland will fit in comfortably in Guardiola's system and he will definitely strengthen Manchester City as well. City have let two players go. Fernandinho's left on a free transfer. And Pedro Porro leaves for Sporting Lisbon for £7.7 .7 million. Pounds. Manchester United have made no signings so far this window. Um, but they have let three players go so far. Nemanja Matic has left on a free transfer. Edinson Cavani has left on a free transfer. And Lee Grant has retired from football. Newcastle, no signing so far. But they have let one player go. And that's Jake Turner on a free transfer. I don't really know much about him. But he's probably one of the youth team players or something like that. Nottingham Forest, our latest arrival in the Premier League. They have currently made no signings or sales so far. They have only just finished their season after getting promoted through the playoffs. So congratulations to them. Southampton have made no signings so far this window. But they have let one player leave. Harry Lewis has left to go to Bradford on a free transfer. Tottenham. No signings or sales as well so far this window. West Ham, no signings so far this window, but they have let a few players leave. Mark Noble has retired from football. Andrea Yarmolenko has left on a free transfer. 
along with Ryan Fredericks and David Martin as well on free transfers. Wolves have made one signing, and that was a signed player they had last year on loan, which they have made permanent. They have made the signing of He Chan Wang from RB Leipzig on a permanent transfer for £15 million. He had a cracking start to the season last year, got about four in five games, and continued to contribute good performances and goals as well throughout the season. So Wolves took up that option, making it a permanent signing, and I think it is a good piece of business for a very reasonable price as well. Wolves have just let one player leave, and that's Ruben Vinagre for £9 million to Sporting Lisbon. And that's it so far for the Premier League. Um, the Premier League teams haven't really done much business because a lot of teams and players are out on holiday or on international duty now. And the window doesn't officially open till June the 10th anyway, but I thought I'd do this video just to give a quick update of some of the deals that have gone through already this window and there will be plenty of more of these videos this summer transfer window so please keep an eye out for them please like and subscribe and share to the channel as well there's lots of exciting content coming this year and you don't want to miss it so thanks very much for watching and i will catch you in the next one